but now we're ready to make the iPad versions. Okay, so let's let's start with the hard one first. The hard one is the one that we're going to have to manually do something to. So let's go to um, main window iPad zip. Open it up. And, well, it's not that hard because we just got through redoing it for the first one. So let's redo it for this one. So we drag a navigation controller. Okay, there's our navigation controller. And then our app, dele app delegate. Oh, it doesn't have anything yet either. So we're going to have to go basically repeat what we just got through doing for our iPad. So let's quit this and come back to our iPad app delegate same thing that we did before um, there's our iPhone we're gonna have to copy these fields so I'm cheating a little bit I'm copying from window down to end so now I go to my iPad.h paste okay now we come over to our M file we come over here to our M file over here And remember, we had to synthesize, so we grab that. And then we come back over to our M. And we have to do the add sub view. Okay, so the add sub view, which is in our did finish launching. All right, so let's run that. Switch to iPad mode. Run it. Oh, we haven't finished doing our zips. All right, so now let's go back and do our zips. Okay, so main window iPad.zip. We go to the app delegate and see there's the nap navigation controller so, and I drag that over to the navigation controller so that wires that up now we have to create our two other zips all right so I'm quitting and saving so the easiest way to create the other zips is to just use the other ones and tell it to convert automatically so let's go to my web view controller let's do root view controller first so double click on it okay so here is the iPhone version so we simply click at the top and we'll do file create iPad version and voila now so that we can tell that it's a different version we'll just Move these buttons around so they look a little bit different. Okay, now we do save as. Okay, now make sure you save in the right folder. For some reason, it doesn't default correctly. So remember, I'm in try three here. So I go to try three. So whatever the name of it is. Now, here's a little secret so I don't have to retype anything. I'm going to go into the iPhone directory first. This is the root view controller, so I click once on it. Now I go back up to the iPhone, and now I can just change this to iPad. So you see what I did there? All I'm doing is I'm just saving this as root view controller underscore iPad. I just cheated by clicking on the one for the iPhone first, then, then go into the iPad folder, and now I can save it. And now I click here. This adds it to the project. Okay, let's quit this and let's do it for the other one. So, my web view controller, double click. So, we're in the iPhone version. Okay, this time we're going to do it slightly different. This time we're going to do create iPad version using auto sizing mask. If we don't do that, we'll wind up with the itty bitty web browser. All right, so we'll say create new iPad version using auto sizing mask. Okay, you can't see it all, but there's the 
new view and just like before let's do something a little bit different with it so I'm gonna come over here and click on the dimensions of it if I can get to the dimensions okay so I'm gonna make it a width of 500 okay so that made it not quite as wide and once again just so I can see that we're using the right version I'm gonna drag um, a button over here and I'll double click on it and I'll just say you know iPad just so that we know that this is the correct nib alright same type of deal save it alright just like before I'm gonna jump up to the iPhone version this is the my web view controller so I'm clicking on that just so see where it says untitled I'm just having it type in I click once so now it's typed that in there for me now I go back to my iPad folder and then I change this to iPad and I click save and I say yes add it to the project okay now I'm quitting now you notice it added to these two files to the project but it put them just at the top level so just to organize everything I'm gonna drag them over to the iPad group alright now we got to do one other thing. We got to go back to our main window zip file. And see right here the view just is kind of blank. So I click on the view and I click over here in this first tab and I want to say that it has to load from the root view controller.ipad and I click on this last tab and I say that it's going to be a root view controller. So just the same thing we had to do getting the iPhone version working. Alright, so let's quit this and save it. And then let's run it. Okay, that's our iPhone version, so let's quit that. Let's switch back to iPad. Run it. Voila. Hey, looks really nice. Let's click on New York Times, see what happens. Hey, works, looks great, except it's actually still loading the iPhone nib here. So you can, in fact, use iPhone nibs in the iPad version, but, you know, we want to add some extra features. Maybe we want to have a, a row of links or something on the iPad version. So let's go back and encode. Let's tell it to load the iPad version if we're on the iPad. All right, so to do that, you have to have a little bit of magic code and I went out on the web and I did a search for you know uh, iPhone determining if device is iPad type that into Google and I found some code alright so let's see where we put this code in so we go to our uh, root delegate I'm sorry root view controller and this is the line that we want to change so this line right here when we click on a button always just loads up the iPhone view so we want to comment that out and then I've just got some magic code here so I'm going to copy this magic code and then I'm going to paste it in here okay so basically this is the line that checks to see if we're an iPad so if we are an iPad so if device current device user interface is, is an iPad then it says device is iPad to true Okay, then we say if the device is an iPad, then we load up the iPad version. Otherwise, we load up the iPhone version. Now, there's probably a way to have this done automatically through the framework. I don't know how to do it, though, so this is the way that I've always seen it done. All right, so let's try it out again, see if we get the different view. So we run it. there's our new controller so we know that is correct we click on New York Times hey there's our iPad button so we are indeed using the iPad version uh, let's see if it rotation works no rotation doesn't work we'll have to figure that out later alright so now yours should look like this when we're done it set once again you should uh, have UTM buttons here and, and make sure you keep up with this project because we're gonna start adding more and more things to this project as we go along 
as we build sort of a, a UTM app, we'll have buttons that, you know, go to UTM, we'll have a button to go to Blackboard, but we'll also, in future projects, do things like uh, uh, have it bring up a map of the campus, and so we'll work on that framework.